Hey everybody, it's Jennifer with The Family Fudge and welcome to Subscriber Lunch Sunday. Today I have some super fun but easy lunches to share with you, including a Hello Kitty themed lunch, lots of healthier options, a few sweet treats, and one lunch that kinda turned into a disaster. Up first I have a lunch idea sent in by Scarlett. She's 12 years old and I'm not quite sure where she's from. For her lunch today, I decided to go with a Hello Kitty theme. I love Hello Kitty, she is so cute. For Scarlett's sandwich today, I'm starting with two pieces of whole wheat bread. On one side, I'm adding chunky peanut butter and on the other, Nutella. Now to make this Hello Kitty sandwich even cuter, I'm going to be using my food color pens. So I'll just color in her little nose. Now these are food safe pens. Now you can find these pens in the cake decorating section of Walmart and they're perfect for projects like this. The next item that Scarlett requested for her lunch is kiwi. My kids love having kiwi in their lunch and they eat it quite often. Now for this particular lunch, I'm not gonna start by peeling the kiwi first. I'm going to leave the peel on and cut my usual zigzag all the way around. This is very easy to do, but you gotta be careful. Now these are really cute as is, but I'm gonna take my knife and I'm going to cut a little bit of the skin all the way around the kiwi. So it kind of looks more like a blossoming flower just like that. I think this looks super cool. And of course, to eat this, all you have to do is peel the skin back or you could scoop it out with a spoon too. This is a really easy step and it looks awesome. Next up, Scarlett requested cucumber. So I'm gonna start by removing about 50% of the outside skin. Then I'm going to slice the cucumber and arrange it in sort of a checkerboard pattern. I do this by slightly turning every other slice. Again, it's super easy, but it looks really cool in the lunchbox. The next item that Scarlett requested for her lunch was pirate booty. Now my store was actually sold out of pirate booty, but they did have some sailor's loot, which is pretty much the same thing. It's basically a corn and rice puff with cheese on the outside. And I'm just gonna fill up my reusable bag with those. For her drink today, Scarlett requested lemonade. And then last but not least, for her treat today, she requested a fruit snack. So of course I chose the Hello Kitty fruit snacks and there you have it. Now this was definitely a kid-friendly lunch. There was nothing in this lunch that my kids didn't enjoy. I'd have to say that their favorite part of this lunch was definitely that peanut butter and Nutella sandwich. Up next, I have a lunch idea sent in by Nikki. She's 27 years old and is from Maine. So for this lunch, I'm starting with the main course first. And Nikki requested a bagel with ham and melted cheese inside. Now when I was at the store, these new bagels definitely caught my eye. These are called Nooks and Crannies bagels. So I'm guessing they're kind of like a cross between an English muffin and a bagel. They definitely look like that. As you can see, if I can get this bagel open, there are lots of nooks and crannies inside. But this bagel's definitely still soft on the outside. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some generous slices of cheddar cheese and a few pieces of honey ham. And then I'll stick both of these in the toaster oven. And then this happened. You guys, my food does not always turn out the best. I have to be honest, sometimes I forget, which unfortunately happens sometimes. So I'm gonna give it another try. And round two is definitely looking a lot better. So now I'm gonna close this guy up and then get him into the lunchbox, which as you can tell, almost doesn't fit in the lunchbox. It's so big. Now moving on to our fruits and veggies. For Nikki's lunch, she requested grapes. So I'm putting a big handful of purple grapes right in here. To go along with this, she also requested cucumbers. Now these were actually really big cucumbers. So I sliced them and then sliced them in half one more time. Now to add a little bit more color to this lunchbox, I also wanna add some of these crayon picks. I bought these quite a while ago for my crayon themed lunch and forgot to use them. So they're definitely gonna make it into today's lunch. And since our bagel's looking a little bit plain, I'm also going to make him into a monster sandwich by adding some googly eye picks. Next, I'm gonna add a little container of ranch to go with the cucumbers. 
For her snack today, Nikki chose these Ritz crackers. These are the crispy and thin ones in the cream cheese and onion flavor. Now we've never actually tried these before. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had them before and if you like them or not. Next up, I'm adding the sweet treat. And for her lunch today, something I don't think I've ever added to a lunch before, Twix. And then of course we have the drink. For her lunch today, Nikki chose a Sunny D. This drink was super popular when I was a kid. And if you've never had it before, it's kinda like orange juice. Also a little bit tangy as well. Now like I said, this bagel was huge. It was perfect for the kids to share. All the kids loved it. They would not have loved the burnt one, however. We all got to try the Ritz crackers and those are really good too. And they were definitely lunchbox approved. Okay friends, so this next lunch is kind of a mystery because the person who sent it in did not give their name, but it sounded like a really interesting lunch, so I wanted to make it anyway. Now this lunch is going to start off like a lot of lunches with the main course first. And for this, I'm starting with some whole wheat bread, but I'm not gonna be adding jelly or Nutella this time. Instead, I'm gonna add honey. I love the combination of peanut butter and honey, maybe even more than jam, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and put a poll right here and you can let me know if you prefer peanut butter and jelly or peanut butter and honey. Now our mystery subscriber also requested that the sandwich be cut into star shapes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then move on to the fruit. Now this particular lunch is getting a combo of fruit both fresh mango and pineapple. Now I'm pretty excited about this mango today. It looks nice and ripe. Last time I picked one that was kind of going bad already and it was not good. Now moving on to the veggies, I'm doing a combination of both carrots and cucumbers. So I'm gonna cut up a bunch of these and then get them into the lunchbox. This is looking so cute already. Now to go along with the veggies, I'm also adding a little bit of hummus right in the center. On the side, I'm also gonna be adding some of these veggie straws. These are just the plain veggie straws, but they're really good. They're made with potato and spinach and sweet potato. I'm just gonna add a big handful to my snack pouch and then move on to the very, very special treat today, which is a Kinder Joy egg. These have chocolate and a little toy inside. My kids love these. And then lastly, I'm also adding the special drink for this lunch, which is orange juice. And there you have it. I think these star-shaped sandwiches turned out so cute, and I know the kids are gonna love the fruits and veggies in this lunch. And of course, the Kinder Joy eggs. And I have to say that hummus was really good. Two thumbs up for this lunch. Okay, mystery subscriber, if this was your lunch, let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, now I'm super excited to make Ruby's lunch. She is 12 years old and is from Australia. And for her main course, she requested nachos. But I'm planning on making them a little bit different than I normally do. For her lunch, I'm gonna start by adding the tortilla chips first. Now my store had lots of different styles of tortilla chips. You could get round ones, but I really like these long rectangle pieces. I think they fit in a lunchbox really well. I'm filling up this entire section with the chips. So for this lunch today, I'm actually gonna be using this jar of salsa con queso. This is a lot like the nacho cheese that you might get from like Taco Bell. So it's a little bit spicy, but not too much. And what I'm gonna do is actually heat it up in a pot until it's really nice and hot and then get it into the thermos. I think this would be a really fun way to do some DIY nachos at school. Thermos should keep the cheese nice and hot until lunchtime. And that just sounds like a really fun lunch. Now to go along with these nachos, I also wanted to include a little bit of salsa. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in this container. This is a mild salsa, not too spicy. And you really could add any toppings here you want. I think olives would be great, maybe some shredded lettuce as well, but I'm keeping it pretty simple today. Next up, I'm adding some sugar snap peas for the veggie and for the fruit, some fresh raspberries. Now I'm a huge fan of raspberries and all of my kids are too. I'm just gonna add a few of these panda picks to make them easy to pick up. And now it's time for Ruby's special treat. She chose Swedish fish, specifically the red ones. I know the kids will be excited to see those. 
And then for her drink today, she actually requested pink lemonade, but unfortunately, I'm out of pink lemonade, so I'm just gonna add regular. Okay, so before I let the kids dig in, I'm gonna go ahead and build the nachos. You can see that this cheese is still piping hot. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of the salsa and a little bit of the sour cream. Now I have to say this was a lunch that the whole family ended up sharing. We all really loved it and I think sending nachos to school like this would be really fun. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.